In this example, we've been asked to calculate this integral using two methods, a trigonometric substitution and the table of standard integrals. This recording will show part A. There will be another recording for part B. The trigonometric substitution is working with the integrand sine cubed theta. I'm trying to integrate that with respect to theta with theta values going from 0 to pi on 2. So first of all, I remember that this is a sine function and it's raised to the power of 3, which is an odd value. So this is a, an odd power of sine theta. So let's have a look for part A here. My integral from 0 to pi on 2, sine cubed theta to theta. The usual method for this integral is to break the cube up into a sine squared and a sine. So we get a sine theta function by itself. So we realize that that is just sine squared theta times sine theta d theta. What I'm, the idea behind that is to now I'm going to transform this with the unit circle trig identity to get this in terms of cos theta. It'll be 1 minus cos squared theta. And then the derivative of cos is sine. So if I make a substitution, let u equal the cos function that comes out of this, the sine function, the derivative of cos, is on the top line, and it should cancel out when I convert the differential. That's the idea behind what we're trying to do. So let's proceed with that. It's still the same integral from 0 to pi on 2. I transform the sine squared theta into 1 minus cos squared theta multiplied by sine theta d theta. So now I look to make a substitution. I'm going to let u equal cos theta. So I'll get 1 minus u squared here. I let u equal something whose derivative is on the top line. The derivative of cos theta is negative sine theta, but that will cancel out when I transform the differential as well. So over to the side, I will make that substitution, let u equal cos theta. Whenever I make a substitution, we differentiate. Just remembering derivative of sine is cos, derivative of cos is negative sine. So du d theta would be sine theta, and I can write that as du equaling, it's minus sine theta, d theta. Derivative of cos is negative sine, so du d theta would be negative sine theta. Multiply up by the d theta. In the integral, I've got here sine theta d theta. Just rearranging that, I can see that from this line here, sine theta d theta would equal negative du. So making all those substitutions, remembering to transform the integrand as well as the differential using all the information I have at the side here. It's the integral, uh, uh, the function I'm integrating now, 1 minus u squared. The sine theta d theta part here, I can replace with negative du. So I'm going to put the du on the end here and the negative, which is negative 1, in the front of the integral sign. Note here I didn't put in the limits. These are limits of the integral with respect to theta. So these are theta values. Whenever I change, uh, make a transformation or a substitution like this, I have to change the limits as well. The same way that I change the integrand, I change or transform the differential. I've got to transform the limits as well. So putting these values for theta inside the substitution here, I'll be able to get values for u. So down the side here where theta is equal to 0, that bottom limit, u would equal cos of 0, which is equal to 1. Also remembering the graph of cos theta goes like that. Cos of 0 is equal to 1. At my top limit here, the upper limit where theta is pi on 2, cos of pi on 2 is here, which is at 0. Writing that in, when theta is equal to pi on 2, u is equal to the cos of pi on 2, 
which is equal to zero. So putting those limits, theta values going from zero to pi on two means that u values go from one to zero. So that is my bottom limit one and the top limit is zero. Now this is not the standard way to write out a limit. For values of u, we really want the lower limit on the bottom and the top limit on the top. Remembering that if I multiply the integral by negative 1, I can rearrange or swap these limits around. So the minus integral from 1 to 0 is the same as the integral, positive integral, from 0 to 1. So I can rewrite this integral as 1 minus u squared with respect to u. That gives me a standard integral which I can go through and evaluate with my limits for u. I've got no problems with that. That's equal to the integral of 1 is just u. I'm evaluating that from 0 to 1. Minus the integral of u squared is 1 third u cubed. And I'm going to evaluate that from 0 to 1 as well. Putting in the top limit for the first one here. Top limit minus the bottom limit. In the second term, take the minus 1 third outside. u cubed. One sub being substitute 1 into there, we get 1 cubed minus 0 cubed, which is just 1 minus 0 as well. Rearranging these as best as I can, that 1 minus 1 third, and the answer I get for this integral is 2 thirds. So that is the first part of this question. The value of this definite integral is 2 thirds. We made a trigonometric substitution. We noted that we had an odd power of sine. The usual method is to take one power off the top, transform all the others, make the substitution. Don't forget to transform the limits as well. Standard integral, we go through and get the answer. The next video will include part B of this integral, just using the standard table of integrals.